Hey guys, I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial and today I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to retouch stray hair in a photo. So I really, really love this portrait and I've already finished retouching the model's skin with my skin retouching tutorial, which I will link here with a card. Um, but I noticed when you zoom in, she has all this, these strands of hair kind of coming over her face and I feel like it's very distracting from the portrait so I want to get rid of them and I thought I'd do a tutorial to show you guys how to get rid of it as well. So I actually colored this photo with my wedding collection Lightroom preset. I really like this preset because it's like it's got a film look to it but it's still very realistic in a way but anyway let's get into the retouching. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer by holding command J. Um, I never do anything on the background layer because you always want something to fall back on in case you make a mistake. You don't ever want to ruin the original file that you're working on. So I just start off with a duplicate and I'm going to zoom right into her face here. And I'm going to start off by using the healing brush tool over here. And I'm going to make sure that the sample is set to all layers. So that means it will sample everything. Alright, so I'm going to make my brush just bigger than the strands of hair here on the face and we're going to start off with the easy ones first. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt or Option key and this basically samples a section of the image that it will then stamp onto where you brush. So I'm going to sample right here next to the hair and I'm going to brush over the whole strand very carefully and there you have it, it's gone. So I noticed it left like a little bit of a mark here so I'm just going to go over that and get rid of that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to all these easy strands that are just over her cheek. And I say that these are easy because they are sort of like on a more plain part of the photo. When we get up to here or to here it gets a little bit more tricky because there are colors we need to look out for, there's shadows, there's patterns that we need to keep that will look dodgy. For example, if I were to just sample here and go over this, it's not going to look good at all. <laughs> so just continuing on with this. Um, I am using my Wacom Bamboo tablet. It's a lot easier than using a mouse when you're retouching because it's like you're working with a pen and you're just kind of brushing over the image. I mean, you could do this with a mouse as well, but I would not be used to doing that at all. So I love using my Wacom tablet for retouching. All right, so I'm going to get as close as possible to this detailed area here and down here as well. And a few little more things. All right, there we have it. Here's a little before and after. So now comes the tricky part where we have to kind of get rid of the strands here where there's more detail in the image so we can't just easily brush over it. I like to start with strands that are on like the edge of the face. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I might actually duplicate this layer as well by pressing Command J. So just in case we make any mistakes and I want to delete it, um, I like to have a copy. For this strand here, I'm going to start by getting rid of this part here on the edge. So I'm going to sample really close to the strand of hair, just the edge here, and I'm going to try and match it up with my brush. Perfect. And then just brush up and down until it's gone. Now the reason I'm doing this because if you sample from here where there is no line and you brush over it, it kind of makes the face disappear, which doesn't look realistic at all. So I'll just get rid of that. Um, and then these here look quite normal, so I'm going to leave them as is. This one is a little bit distracting because it's so light against like a shadowy part of the face. So once again, I'm just going to sample very close by on the edge of her face and then try and match it up here with the brush. And that kind of worked. If it starts looking a little bit messy like this, I like to press Command Shift N, Enter, for a new blank layer. And then I'm going to go over and grab my stamp brush, or I just press S. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger and soft as well. So we have it at size 15, hardness 0, and I make sure that the brush, whoops, just moved my screen there. <laughs> And I make sure my brush has a really soft edge as well. And then I'm going to put the opacity at 20%. So just to get rid of this messy little shadowy bit here, I'm going to sample 
here in the lighter part of the skin and lightly brush over that shadowy part. Just until it looks nice and natural again. There we go. So there's like a before and after. Okay, and now we're going to go down here to the chin area. And once again, I'm going to just start a new layer, Command Shift N, and with my healing brush tool. <laughs> I always forget the name of it. I go to say clone stamp, but no, it's the healing brush tool that I use. I am going to once again select here on the edge and around the chin it gets a little bit tricky because of the curve. So this bit is a little bit too straight and it probably doesn't really look natural. So I'm going to try and get in as close as possible to get more of that natural curve. That's a bit better. And kind of it's looking a little bit weird. So I might just stamp and brush across until it looks a bit more normal. Well, I'm just making it worse. Oh, there we go. That's got a nice curve to it. And for these little bits here, I'm going to, again, new blank layer, press S for the stamp tool and just brush in that little section to make it look a bit better. And I like to use a low opacity and kind of build up the brush stroke. So instead of going opacity 100 and you know, brushing it in. I like to kind of build it up like layers. And I think that helps it keep it looking more natural and realistic. All right, and then we'll get rid of this one. So once again, new layer. I feel like there's no reason why you shouldn't make as many new layers as possible just to make your life easier in the long run. Realistically, you could do everything on just one layer. But for example, this edit, if I don't like it, I can easily just delete that layer and everything else stays the same and redo that section rather than, you know, adding a mask and then brushing the one section out. So yeah, I pretty much just make a new layer to work on stuff every time. So we're going to get rid of this hair here. By the way, sorry if my throat sounds a bit croaky. I just got home from Poland and I'm like extremely jet lagged. <laughs> working on it all right we're gonna go in and get that little edge that one was a lot easier than this one actually and here i'm going to use my stamp tool and i probably won't worry too much about these little hairs here because you can see them a lot when you're very zoomed in but realistically realistically you'll be looking at the image like this so you can't really notice and last but not least, let's do this strand over here. So let's go in with our healing brush tool and we'll get this strand up there. And for this, I'm going to sample here in the middle section of the lips and just do a similar thing that we did to the edge of her face here. And just kind of try and match the shape and the shades that you see here in the photos so it doesn't look too unrealistic. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my stamp tool and just fix this section up a tiny bit because it looks a little bit weird. So there we go. It's all gone. So I'll show you a before and after. Yeah, I feel like that just really helps bring the attention back to the face. It's not as distracting as it was here with all the hair in the face. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Just another mashup of using the healing brush tool and the stamp tool. Those are, I think, the two most powerful tools in Photoshop and you can literally do anything with them. Um, just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of practice. Don't feel frustrated if you don't get this straight away. I've been retouching for many, many, many years, <laughs> so it's quite natural to me. And if you practice and do this regularly, it'll be natural for you as well. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. And please let me know if you'd like to see anything else from me. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out three new videos a week and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.